Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is my first day in Boise and yeah, started off pretty rough. It's still going pretty rough. Couldn't get my coffee machine to work. I have an absolutely raging headache, which is still happening. I just took medicine for it. I had plenty of water and coffee and food, but it's still happening. So we have to go and do some errands today though. One, we have to get food from none other than Trader Joe's. I have to go to Trader Joe's because I miss it so much. <laughs> so I'm going to be going on a nice long walk, going to Trader Joe's, checking out the city. And then I was going to do laundry today, but I don't think I'm going to be up for it. But we'll see how I feel after the walk. So we'll see what the day, where the day takes us, but we might just end up in bed for the rest of the day. Also, it's 42 degrees outside, which is insane. And it is, yeah, I think that's absolutely crazy. <laughs> so we'll see how it feels out there. Let's go. Guys, it's blue skies, green grass, what is life? <laughs> this is weird. Kind of nice. everybody so it is now Wednesday I spent the rest of my day yesterday um, pretty much on the phone with Gary or on video chat we watched uh, two episodes of the amazing race and then I was working on editing YouTube videos it is 12 o'clock right now I have done two hours of work for this morning is back to work today and I've just had my lunch which was a turkey burger and broccoli with my absolute favorite thing ever this vegan pesto from Trader Joe's I only bought two should have bought five because I legitimately eat these um, very fast because you know, with my dietary restrictions, it's really hard to find a sauce that works. So, it's the best thing ever. And I need to now go do laundry. It is 47 degrees outside. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. So, I am going to go out an attempt to do laundry and maybe attempt to buy a couple of items that I'm needing and then come back and do the rest of my work day. 
And then I need to finish editing the video that's going up tomorrow, my travel day. So, yeah, busy work day today. Back in the grind, I'm feeling a little bit more grounded now. I still miss Anchorage, but starting to feel human again. My headache's gone, you know, my body has adjusted. My mind is catching up. So, and we are of course still getting used to the situation. So, there's really no, I moved the table from the kitchen out here to work because I don't really want to work in the kitchen. It's really cold, first of all, and it's just a tiny space. So, there's really not a lot of room, I'll show you, for cooking. Um, so, I'm kind of, you know, getting used to like what works for me in terms of dishes and stuff. But I have this induction cooktop, which it's, I just cooked the burger in it and it is fast and hot like you don't have to wait for that thing to get warmed up at all it's just like that's probably what induction means <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm dumb but yeah um so basically with the table gone it's like there's no space for anything so I'm really gonna have to figure that out um maybe empty off the microwave and use that but then there's nowhere to put any of this stuff I have this tiny space right here so I don't know we're figuring that out but you know it's still a better kitchen than I had last time I think because at least I have a full sink now three o'clock and I'm really happy that I got my laundry done uh, that was a really cool like vintage laundry laundromat and it was only it was less than four dollars to buy detergent from them and do my laundry so that's really really cool was paying attention to the trees on this walk and they are cool um, it's nice to feel the sun on your skin and to just be outside and, and have it be warm. Like, it was really nice. It was like 50 degrees walking back. Uh, quick shout out to my grandpa who sent me this yesterday. It is an external hard drive. And it's super light. And it's one terabyte of storage. So this is going to be really helpful with... Um, storing my footage and editing my footage for the vlogs. So thank you to my grandpa for sending me that to help out with the channel. It arrived yesterday, so he timed it perfectly. <laughs> thank you, grandpa. Um, yeah. What's up, guys? I am so tired. I've done um, almost two more hours of work. So I'm really behind today because it's like six o'clock. I still have to finish editing my video for tomorrow and do two more hours of work. I have a really fun video um, to caption, so that's good. At least it will keep me motivated. But I um, am so tired that I'm going to just go outside. The sun's setting soon and I'm going to walk to the store and probably pick up a couple of things. So that's what we're doing now. Let's go. Gotta wake up. Can't do crap while I'm this tired. And I even had a black tea too, but it did not work. It's very bright, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so I'm back from the store. Of course, I spent more than I intended to, as always. But the main reason for that is because I bought probiotics. So, 
This time I went with the Mood Plus. So I'm hoping, <laughs> so this also has like in addition to the probiotics, it has some stress support like fruits and stuff in it. So I'm kind of hoping that this helps me with, um, you know, maintaining my mood <laughs> and like, you know, helping with my anxiety. Um, yeah, I use Garden of Life. I just, there's a hundred different versions and I thought, why don't I try this one? Cause like that's the main culprit of my problems anyways, you know? So going with that, I also bought this. Is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, there is obviously a spatula here, but it's plastic. And I really, really don't like using plastic spatulas because they, you know, the plastic breaks off into your food, melts into your food and you eat it. And I'm not comfortable with that. So the one here is like really breaking off. I'm, I know I could have asked her for another one, but this was, you know, I think five bucks. I also might just take it with me because it's really small and, and cute. And then, because a lot of times, I, I found that in most of the Airbnbs, it's been a plastic one. So this actually might be something that will stick with me. I was outside after it got dark, the sunset, as I was in the store. And something I was thinking about was just, you know, I know that it's safe to be outside in Boise after dark, which is why I was. I intended to be home before the sunset, but I wasn't too worried about it because I knew that. And so walking, I did not feel unsafe at all. I mean, this is a very safe area. It just got me thinking about, you know, privilege and just the dichotomies of the world. Um, there's another word for it. <laughs> but basically the gap between the rich and the poor. And just thinking about how wherever you live really affects your experience of life, you know? Because I obviously, like <laughs> coming from Anchorage to here, I'm finding that like the practicalities of living here, so much easier. I can actually walk around. My feet in fact are sore from walking around so much. Um, the food is affordable, it's safe, just I feel like it's going to be really good for my stress levels because I don't need to be like on high alert every time I'm outside. I can kind of wander around and, and look around more because <laughs> a lot of times when I'm traveling I try to be really really cognizant and not look like I'm a tourist, you know, but I feel like here it's okay because there's no one around and the people who are around are very friendly and you know you just have to be aware of your surroundings and here it's totally fine it just removes a big weight off of my back of having to be um so aware of everything so yeah it just has me thinking about the gap between you know the rich and the poor or um living in different areas and, and just the privilege of the simple privilege of being safe that so many don't have and you know I've, I've lived in places where I didn't feel safe like Chicago you know my home my home I do not feel safe in and um, obviously Anchorage was pretty sketchy too so um, I'm very grateful to be in a safe place and it just has me thinking about all that stuff, you know, so just something to think about. Um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing now. I've been talking for six minutes. Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> a week with my heart in New York In LA it changed
said it at the start, still I find it surprising I talk of faith, my faith's insecure I give you everything guys I'm gonna end this video out here I finished editing my um, YouTube video it's just it's stuck on the last encoding process so I have to wait for it to finish and then I'm also playing a game on this website that I play games on I can work while I play games on there so I'm probably gonna do that just for a little while and then get ready for bed so hope you guys enjoyed my first couple days in Boise thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye